Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing part 4 of colonising the whole solar system of all the planets, all of the major moons uh, and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So we're going to be heading to Saturn to start off with today. Now, a little, uh, a little story for you here. I actually just filmed uh, a massive chunk of this video where I've done the remaining Saturn moons. But the thing is, I, did, I didn't save the whole simulation. I went to save the simulation. I accidentally clicked new instead of share and save. So it deleted my progress. So yeah, the recording, yeah, it was a bit of a mess. So yeah, I'm just going to go over what I have done since last episode. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. So yeah, if you remember last episode, we finished off with Titan and Iapetus here. So you may notice the orbits are a little different. I'll get onto that as well. So yeah, we had Iapetus up here, all ocean world. Then we had Titan, also a all ocean world. But yeah, now getting onto the other moon. So we started off with Tethys, but again, it's an all ocean world and that is actually due to the Saturn moon textures they don't they're all flat they don't have any height features so when you add water it just floods the whole object so yeah Tethys um, we have got here we've also got Dione and Rhea here they're the ones I did they're all ocean worlds as well since you can't you can't uh, make the um, land pop up or anything no matter what you do it, it won't work it is permanently all ocean or no ocean whatsoever so I've gone with all ocean worlds for the Saturn moons so yeah there we go and yeah the orbits are in a little bit of a mess as well because when you start putting their mass up to 12 moons their orbits got a little upset so yeah maybe a little out of place right now but yeah unfortunately there's nothing I can really do about that because I had to play the simulation to get some of the other moons to work and stuff like that so it did mess up the orbits but I have cleaned it up um, as best as I can um, with that so yeah there we go so that's all of these Saturn moons now so we'll get a quick close-up of all the moons so here is Dione so here we go. So I went with a, uh, a more whiter sort of um, atmosphere of it. You can sort of see a bit of the surface underneath the ocean there. But yeah, it's still um, it's either ocean or no ocean. So there we go. We've got Dione. Then we have Tethys over here. So here it is. So again, the same story. But you can't even see the surface whatsoever underneath. So there we go. So it's all see an all ocean world with the um, sort of earth-like blue atmosphere on it. So that's... Um, quite a basic looking world as well then we got Rhea here again another very very basic world since you just can't really do anything to the customization you can't really change the surface section or anything like that so yeah we end up with a lot of ocean worlds around Saturn there so yeah there we go so that is all of the Saturn stuff done so yeah there we go but now heading on to Uranus so yeah this is actually where I got to before I lost everything so yeah I, I'd managed to get um, I think it was Ariel and Titania I did I didn't do Miranda so it was Ariel and Titania and also Uranus itself I made a slight change to Uranus as um, one of you guys mentioned this in last um, video but yeah I um, completely forgot this option existed but yeah if you go to surface it's down here so if you go to the elevation span to radius if you lower this value some of the ice disappears so yeah I, managed, I did some of that we'll do it a bit more though because I did lose some of it but yeah look at all the lights on Uranus it looks great um, all of those. See, there we go. So that's our Uranus. So that's looking good. Right, and then, um, yeah, Miranda, I didn't do. So that's um, that's fine there. Uh, and then we have Ariel, which I did customise. So this one, I went with like a frozen sort of icy ocean looking world. So again, quite a basic looking world. Obviously, the city lights are on this one as well. So that is Ariel. Right, and next up, we have Umbriel down here. This was Umbriel Earth. So again, I went with like a uh, an icy sort of frozen look to it as well. But it's also got some green on it to represent some sort of dark trees and stuff like that. But yeah, I am going to go to the surface again. And I'm going to quickly uh, change the um, elevation stuff. So let's just uh, lower that value a bit. Get rid of some of that ice. So there we go. But yeah, overall, I really like the way that one looks as well. And on the view from Uranus, if you look at Uranus as well, the, the view you get. Just look at that. The city lights on Uranus as well. It just looks so cool. So there we go. So that was Umbriel. Right, and now heading further up. So Titania. I think I lost my data at Titania. Yeah, there we go. So it was Titania. So I'm going to go ahead and save it again since I made some changes to it. So yeah, Titania. Right, there we go. So that's all saved. Good stuff. Right, so Titania. Let's go ahead and uh, start customizing this. So this one's already in quite a decent sort of color scheme on it with the blue there. So I'm not going to change too much to that. But yeah, we need to do the same process as we've done in the previous episode. So we need to put it to 12 moons because it won't work any lower, um, unfortunately, there. We're going to put it back to 50 degrees. Composition, we're going to go down. No, it's not composition, it's surface. Yeah, I still get mixed up with where the atmosphere menu is. I, I, I think they should add a whole bar for it in the top here. I think that'd be quite good. Um, but yeah, there we go. So... Um, 10 I'll just go 10 earths i mean it doesn't really make a difference there so there we go so there is our um there is our um atmosphere added now we can customize it 
So what could we go with here? So we could go with a blue. Go, I'm going to go with like an uh, a sort of pale sort of earth sort of shade of blue. And then obviously the oceans, we can add those in too. So there we go. So that's looking quite good. I really like the way that one looks. It's like a uh, frozen sort of ar archipelago or something like that is the impression I get when I see this. So there we go. And then elevation, I'm going to just change the colour. So we'll have like a dark sort of green to it to make it look quite cool. So there we go. See, I'm liking the way that's looking as well. That looks good. So there is Titania interface. We can give a slight tweak to as well. So Titania and then uh, Umbreal too. We'll give that a um, we'll give that a white uh, trail. Why not? So there we go. So Umbreal. Right. And then lastly, we have got Oberon. So this one I went. With, it already had a um, an orangish texture. So I went with like a desert sort of like um, color for this one. So that's what we're going to be doing on here as well. Um, once again, since I uh, well, that previous recording stuff is gone. So right, we need to lock that go to ocean not ocean no moon we'll go to 12 moons like so 50 degrees and then i'll see atmosphere we need to add as well surface down here so there we go let's just put a random value in so 12 atm right appearance we need to close reopen it so we can customize the atmosphere i'm gonna go for a sort of mars like sort of like a Mar mars sort of like reddish orange pale color there so there we go and then um, composition, we're going to add some oceans to it. So there you go. So it's like a desert, or well, more of a desert-like rocky world there. So there we are. And then appearance. Oh, yeah, the city lights. Uh, did we put them on the other one as well? So there's our city lights on Oberon. I like the way that one looks. It's kind of, kind of similar to the Venus in this simulation as well. Yeah, did we, did we give lights to Titania? No, we didn't. So let's go ahead and add those. So there we go. So there's now lights on Titania there. Right, and then um, Umbreal. Did I add them to Umbreal? I don't think I did either. No, no, they are on Umbreal. Okay. And then um, how about Aerial? Are they on Aerial? Yes, they are. Okay, cool. So they're the lights on Aerial. Right, awesome. So there we go. So that is all of the Uranus system done now. So there we go. And yeah, Uranus itself I think looks really, really cool um, as well. But yeah, I think I may give it a slight tweak with the colors. So we can give it just a few different shades of color. So how, how are we going to go here? Okay, so we can give it yeah, just a tad few different uh, shades on it just to make it slightly more interesting so there we go that is our uranus done but yeah tilted on its side it does look really cool with the city lights all showing up there as well so they'll be permanently in darkness for half of the year as well so that'd be um pretty crazy but yeah there is uranus so i'm gonna go ahead and save it again so there we go all right so let's just catch up so i don't have any more errors again like i did before yeah just so quick i just filmed the, the previous record and i was clicking around the menu was a little slow to open i accidentally clicked the new button and yeah i lost all the data so yeah silly me doing that but yeah at least i got some of the progress saved right now moving on to neptune so here we go and yeah actually before i get onto um what we're doing on neptune because obviously it's triton is what we're going to be doing that's the only one i'm going to touch i'm not going to go any further out with pluto or any of the objects out here because with pluto as well if i add Charon around pluto and put it to 12 moons it will break the pluto system there'll be too much mass and they'll probably end up colliding or breaking so i'm going to end off or end this series at neptune um, and yeah, Triton specifically. So anyways, there is Neptune looking really, really good. So, right, Neptune. Also, we need to just call it Neptune so we can get our moons. So there we go. And then we can call it Neptune Earth again. So that did add our moons. All right, cool. So there we go. So yeah, Triton will be our last stop for this um, series. So here we go. So here is Triton. Right, so there we go. Right, click play and just quickly pause it. So there we go. So that's um, registered as the orbit now around neptune right so triton how are we gonna do this one so lock that uh triton we're gonna put 12 moons like so right um yeah surface atmosphere blah 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 random value so there we go just make it quite large i mean it's still very small actually i mean i just put it to just something decent so there we go back to 50 degrees as well since we know it all works well and good Right, now we can get onto the uh, the customization. So we're going to add some uh, water to it as well. Just let that flow around for a bit, just to increase it. Okay, so I'll go with something like that. So let's just let that water all flow into position. So there you go. So there's Triton. Right now, atmosphere color and interface, or atmosphere mainly. So white. Ooh, that's going to be quite a tough one. So elevation though. I'm going to go with a sort of like a, a dark sort of palish sort of purple. Then I'm going to go with like a uh, more of a dark green as well. And then high elevation will just go as white. So there we go. So if we look underneath the atmosphere, that's what we've got right now. So I'm liking that. So just a few mix of different colors in there. Going to make that a little more gray. So there we go. So there, there we go. Right, that's looking good. Right now, 
atmosphere color. This is going to be so let's just enable the atmosphere first. But yeah, there we go. So what should I go with? No, that's interface and no, atmosphere. Right. How do I think this should look? I'm thinking maybe a light sort of pale blue. So something like what we've got here. So something like that. And then actually we can call it Earth as well and get our bonus white clouds. So how about that? Yeah, that's looking good to me. I'm liking that actually. So then we go and add the city lights and voila, that is our Triton. So yeah, there we go. But yeah, other than that, I'm, I'm happy with that. I think that's good. So that'll be just chilling around this really sweet looking Neptune as well with that ultra blue tint on it. Little over the top still, but yeah, it's just a bit of fun with this series. So right there we go. It's not We don't have to put, run this simulation or anything. It's mainly just to be looked at. But yeah, there we go. So there is our Triton. So yeah, that does it for this series, guys. Yeah, Triton. I'm not going to go any further than Triton. Stuff like Sedna. They're in permanent darkness anyway. So yeah, I'm not going to bother customizing those. I mean, we could do Iris, but Iris has already got tints and mods on it. So, yeah, it won't be too fun to customize like the Saturn moons. But, yeah, there we go. So, there's Pluto as well. No, I'm not going to do its moon carry on or anything like that. So, yeah, we're going to be uh, finishing off there. So, I'm going to go ahead and get a save of the full simulation. In, and then we can go through all the planets to end off with. So, here we are. So, let's just let that save. And then we can go into chart mode and just get a list of all of our objects. So, here we go. So radius, and there we are. So here we go. So head all the way down here. So first of all, we have Jupiter here. So there we go. So that was the one with the red tint. Obviously, it's got the red city lights on it as well. We can't really see them at the moment, but yeah, they are there. So we had um, that. Then we had Saturn here. Looks like Saturn, something's crashed into Saturn. There must have been some of those objects um, that I removed. Some of its other moons, because yeah, the orbits were really upset before I started this recording. So then we have our Neptune with the ultra dark blue tint. Oh yeah, and yeah, the tints as well. So we had Jupiter was red. Um, Saturn had the yellow tint to give it its yellow lights. We had Neptune with the dark blue to give it its blue lights. Uranus had the uh, sort of cyan blue to give it its obviously cyan lights. We can see Uranus's lights look great. They're probably some of the best lights in the whole simulation. Then obviously we've got Earth. No, nothing changed there. Then we've got our desert-like Venus with the orange lights. We've got our green Mars. It's a very, very friendly sort of um, happy-looking Mars there. We've got Ganymede, Titan... We've got Mercury as well there. I, I do like the way Mercury looks after that. I think it looks really cool. We've got Callisto here. The Jupiter moons. I think the Jupiter moons came out really cool. Especially Io. I think Io from the last episode. I think that looks really good the way it is. Just like the volcanic looking clouds it's got. Like the, the yellowish, palish atmosphere. I think it looks really, really cool. Then we have the moon itself. So that's got a lot of ice and snow on it as well there. Then we've got Europa, which is mostly ocean. We've got Triton, Pluto, and yeah, all of the other moons further down here. So we just get a full look at them all there. So yeah, looking really, really cool. There's Oberon again. But yeah, there we go. So really, really cool stuff indeed. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this series of colonizing the whole solar system. I've got to say, this is a really, really cool one. Really, really fun to film, just customizing these objects as well. It did get a little frustrating towards the end, though, with Saturn onwards, because obviously I did lose a recording that I previously filmed with Saturn onwards, um, which is what I've just shown you all. So yeah, it did kind of suck there. But yeah, there we go. But yeah, one thing I'm going to do is I did say I'll do it, um, I believe. And that is adding the rings to Saturn. So there we go, like that. So that's that's what the rings around Saturn would now look like with the um, colonized Saturn. So let's just uh, remove all that. So there we go. So it does look quite weird, obviously, since the rings um, are built for the gas giant. Obviously, this one is smaller. But yeah, there we go. So that is our Saturn. It's still got its really cool lights on it um, up here as well. But yeah, with that all out of the way, guys, massive thank you again for watching today's video. And yeah, if you like this video, let's see if we can go for 50 likes on this video. So yeah, we smashed the like goal on last video. I mean, I think we, I think it's got over 60 likes now. So yeah, massive thank you for everyone who um, contributed to that. And yeah, just awesome stuff indeed. Massive thanks to everyone um, who has subscribed recently as well. And yeah, everyone who um, likes the videos. It means the world. It's really, really awesome. All the support you guys are giving. And yeah, with that all out of the way, guys, make sure you all have a great day. Subscribe for new helps on the journey to 14,000 subscribers. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, guys.